somebody asked me when I did the um, focus right test between the solo and the Scarlet 2. When they mentioned, yeah, but what's it like with a ribbon mic? I'm on the camera mic at the moment. So I thought, yeah, let's compare. This is the Earthworks SR40V, which has the most ferocious output of any microphone I've ever come across. On my TC Helicon, there's a knob for adjusting the mic input gain. And this, the SR40V, is down there, one or two bars. Don't know how many bars there are, something like 20. One or two bars, otherwise it starts to glow red. Maybe three, depending how I'm singing. And then this, a beautiful uh, biodynamic M500, a ribbon mic, on the TC Helicon, right to the other end, maybe one bar down from maxed out. So, the most two extreme mics I've got as far as um, that's concerned. So I've got them going into Cakewalk here, and uh, I've set them up so that they're about the same. So I can tell you on the Scarlet 2 i4, third generation, the amp uh, microphone gain is a little before 12 o'clock, so I'd say about 11 o'clock for the SR40V, and I should have more light now, I can't see it. Uh, oh, it's not a monocle, that's what they're for. Yeah, so the uh, getting a similar level from both of them, the biodynamic is around about 3, 4, 30, 4 o'clock, between 4 and 5 o'clock, and the SR40V about 11 o'clock. So when I edit the video, then I'm going to cut this camera sound and go to what's being recorded here. Hopefully, that's the idea. This is the SR40V. Said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop, over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. I'm going to get a bit closer. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. Moving over to the biodynamic, said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop, over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. My life is a bore in this nasty pond, and I long to go out in the world beyond. I wish I could hop like you, said the duck to the kangaroo. I'm going to get closer to the biodynamic. Said the duck to the kangaroo. I'm going to turn it up a bit. You can hear the hiss come in there. Said the duck to the kangaroo. How charmingly sweet you hop. Well, I'm going to do now, just with speaking, I'm just going to get them peeking on the... Um, as it goes to yellow from green. Said the duck to the kangaroo. Said the duck to the kangaroo. So round about there. But you can hear the amount of hiss that there is. Said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop. Over the land and water too. Was that distortion? Over the land, yes it was, so I'm going to take it down a bit. Over the land and water too. Back to where I was really. Over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. Said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop. Over the land and water too, as if you never would stop. Back on the SR40V. Said the duck to the kangaroo, how charmingly sweet you hop over the land and water too as if you never would stop. So really then you can hear the difference between the uh, noise of the preamp. Sounds fine to me in terms of the, the sound quality. And of course the 40V is pushing a lot through. So there you go. With a, I think there's things you can get to boost uh, low output, ribbon mics and other things. And maybe you'd need that. I don't know. But, um, you know, you can't expect uh, miracles really, but it seems... Seems a, a fine enough unit to me. I'd really like to try real high-end mic preamps. So Earthworks, if you're listening, I know you do one. Eh. <laughs>